Hi crocheters of the world, I'm Wana and this is Wana's crochet channel on YouTube. And because the Christmas is just around the corner, I thought it would be nice to uh, create something more to decorate our Christmas trees. And this is uh, what I came up with. Uh, are the little little uh, stars, Christmas stars, and uh, I work them with the same. Actually, this is uh, what we will need. And in another tutorial, I worked a um, crochet basket with the Tunisian interlock crochet technique. And this is the very first round. Well, actually, there are two rounds because we, we will have a single crochet round and then this round with a Tunisian crochet. So if you want to, uh, you can just, actually it's better if you um, just take a look first uh, on that tutorial. I will let you the link below. And it would be really nice to make a uh, nice a uh, basket. Uh, or with uh, the same um, the same colors so uh, to have it on your table and I also work a this a nice um, coaster with the same pattern I have my coffee here and um, it's exactly the same one only that I use the cotton a thicker cotton and work with a five millimeters hook and instead of seven petals I put eight petals so this is exactly uh, the first round of the basket with eight petals but this one I work it with only seven petals and you will you can put more or less petals by putting into the first round working more or less single crochets so as many single crochets actually work uh, that will be the number of uh, the petals so here I worked seven but let us begin so I'm working with crochet with crochet yes with uh, cotton yarn and uh, three millimeters hook so you need cotton yarn that goes with three millimeters hook and let us begin with the magic ring And with seven single crochets so it's exactly the same thing that I uh, did for the basket three only that I put now only one two three one two three four five six seven only seven single crochet instead of eight and I want to begin with a chain of five instead of chain of four so slip stitch so uh, I want to begin with a chain of five which means that our uh, little squares for the enter like cro uh, Tunisian crochet so these are actually the little squares will be worked in five stitches and five rows instead of four and four so let us chain five three four five so here we have our first loop on the hook insert the hook into the second chain pull up a loop insert the hook into the third pull up a loop into the fourth pull up a loop and into the last your fifth chain pull up a loop now we have five chains but we need one more because this is the way we were the enter leg. So insert the hook into the slip stitch where you slip stitch into the single crochet where you slip stitch and pull up another loop. Now we have six loops on the hook. Yarn over and we'll, we'll begin by pulling through two, not through one as we usually uh, do for the um, crochet, Tunisian crochet. So pull through two, 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 two. And two and now we have one two three four five okay and this is what what we have we must have so five stitches now we will begin with a chain one 
and then we will insert the hook into the very first stitch around the very first vertical bar and pull up a loop. Now we have two and pull up a loop around the next vertical bar, pull up a loop around the next, pull up a loop and when we are here into the last two we want to insert the hook through two loops and pull up a loop. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six again because we chained one. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And this is our second row. We need five. So again, chain one, insert the hook around the very first vertical bar, and pull up your second loop. The first loop is the chain one. Now around each of your vertical bar and where we have here our two, last two, we insert the hook through two and pull up another loop. Now we have again six, so we, ha we must have six because we are now over pull through two. This means that we actually decrease. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two and now we have again five. So we actually decrease and increase with a chain one. Now we have one, two, three. Chain one, so we increase around the first vertical bar, the second loop on the hook, and just continue on like this. When you are here at the end, insert the hook through the two loops, last loops, and pull up a loop. Again, six, yarn over, pull through two, and this means we decrease. Okay, and now we have five, and this is the magic number one, two, three, four. Now we must work five rows. So let's go on with the set with the last one. Chain one to increase and pull up loops into the rest of your vertical bars. Pull through two, always through two into the last one. We have again six, yarn over, pull through two, and now we decrease and pull through two until the end of the row. Okay, this is my first petal. Now, yeah, uh, chain one, insert the hook around the first vertical bar and we just want to slip stitch one. Now, around the next vertical bar, pull up a loop and slip stitch. Slip stitch loosely. The third, around the next, this is the fourth, and around the next two, which are the last two. So we have one, two, three, four, five slip stitches, just perfect. Now let us begin the second petal. And we will insert the hook into each of our vertical bars here. So we already have one chain, one loop on the hook. One, two, three, four, five. So insert the hook around the first one. And insert the hook through two loops, okay? It's better. Okay, now I have the second, this is my third. my fourth and my fifth. But I need six. So for this I will insert the hook to begin this second petal into the next single crochet. And now I have six. Yarn over pull through two and pull through two until the end of your first row of your second row of your second petal. And now we just have to complete four more rows. Chain one and pull up loops into the next, into all, each of your actually vertical bar. Now we have the two here and we insert a hook through both of them. Okay, six loops again, yarn over, pull through two and pull through two until the end. And this is the second, chain one and pull up loops. So when we go on and pull up loops, we chain one, so we increase. When we work the stitches, we yarn over and pull through two at the beginning and this is a decrease. Okay, now this is my third, one, two, three, chain one and pull up loops into each of your vertical bar that you have and with this chain one we have again six stitches and yarn over, now we decrease, pull through two. And when we, when we pull through two at the beginning of the row, means we decrease. Okay, now we have four, chain one, work your 
fifth row for the second petal <clears throat> pull through two 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 and two okay now we have one two three four five the same thing chain one insert the hook around the first vertical bar and uh, slip stitch slip stitch into the next into the next into the next actually in each of your stitch of the last row and now pull up loops and the sixth one into the next single crochet for the next petal continue on like this until you have seven petals all around when you finish your last petal just chain one to secure so work your uh, stitches your uh, slip stitches five slip stitches chain one to secure a cut a little bit a longer yarn because we just have to sew them together here now this is <clears throat> this part is longer because we worked the stitches this is a little bit shorter because we worked the chain five but it's exactly the same number of stitches so they are five on one side and on the other side and you just want to sew them on the back wrong side <clears throat> okay insert the needle okay into the first and now again here and like this and on the wrong side just go okay just go on and join together the pieces by sewing them into the basket in the basket tutorial I showed you how to slip stitch together <clears throat> this part so you can choose that way to the important thing is just to join together the two parts okay and this is it so as you can see it's just perfect now I have my two flowers and there is some something that we have to do I will took my gray green <laughs> sorry and we know that we have five stitches here so the slip stitches and we have five here so it's one two three four and five so we just want to work into the single crochets so this is my first single crochet one two three four work the tail two and five this is my last one on this side and now I'll just insert the hook into the first slip stitch and work five more on the other side and I will just continue on like this all around three four and five like so then insert the hook here and work one two three four and five this is the last so this is what we'll have now that I finished to so the border single crochet border around the, my two stars here I just want to begin to join them together with uh, the crab stitch which is the reverse single crochet and working only in back loops one side the other side so let us begin I will work with a 
golden yarn you can work with any kind of yarn just it's important to be a contrasting yarn you can put white or I don't know yes golden was will would be nice or a silver yarn okay now let us begin in one of our stitches it's not important which one one two three four five yes in this one so back loop only oops I was okay back loop only here and let's see which is one two three four five so it's this one it's important the first one to be okay and now into this one I won't work I just want to insert the hook into the next and now just to show you one from here and one from here okay so pull oops. what I did okay one from here and one from here pull the loop through it and now finally work your single crochet now for the reverse single crochet is that we go on through the right not through the left as we always work so is the hook one loop from here so it's one loop one loop okay pull the yarn through it now we have actually two loops on the hook as you can see yarn over pull through all two loops okay so one here one here so one loop from here one from the other one pull up a loop yarn over pull through both now in the let's say in the middle of our star so it's this one and this one more or less when we think we are here in the point of it work two into the same stitch one and two and then continue on working on the other side one and one okay so it's not difficult it's not easy let's say we just have to be sure that we are working in each stitch and that would be all but it's really a beautiful border very decorative uh, uh, very nice and decorative so that's why I choose to work directly with the oops with the crab stitch and join more or less five yes five uh, petals let's say and then we will begin to to fill in uh, with some polyfill so here I am I worked until here I have two more to work and two more petals I want to say <clears throat> and now I begin to stuff and we try to stuff the petals more than the center of the star so just stuff let's see the petals and I will need more but I just want to show you okay so we'll leave this part a little bit emptier okay like this and continue on and put some more and so on so <clears throat> I am already uh, almost ready with joining but I just want to be sure that it's all perfect so 
as you can see and just try to fill them well okay like this and I will stitch I will work my last stitches and to finish actually so I'm working like this I want to show you how to finish we will work into the stitch that we began so the stitch where we actually join Okay, this is the stitch where we join the yarn. So it's here that I want to work one more stitch now. Okay. Now, just chain, I don't know, for the loop to bend it I don't count I just go on and chain and then fold to see so it's perfect and come back into the same stitch and of course slip stitch to join cut your yarn and you are ready all that we have to do now is to lose these ends inside and this is what I will do and then we will sew the two buttons one side and the other side so just like this first of all like this okay and now as I said I want to lose a little bit this so I will just go on and I like this okay perfect now what I want to do is to cut this yarn and it's perfect now I will do the same thing with the other one and I will come back to show you just how to stitch so the two buttons now for the last step very important this step we need two buttons and <clears throat> thread sewing needle and we just want to insert exactly in the middle on one side and on the other side and come back like this now keep this <clears throat> just want to insert my needle here in between the two so like this I can block it okay now go back go where I am here and pull tight okay like this now back here and again oops and pull tight not this <laughs> okay do it again back and pull tight so we have already have a nice shape and now 
one button here and begin to oops come on okay just be sure that you are in the middle with this one it's very important okay and now the other one here and again be sure that you just have the same position it's very important now to find no I'm here okay perfect just now will be a little bit difficult for the first two or three times okay but Afterwards will be really easy. Keep tight here. Like this. Okay, and go on. <clears throat> and do some stitches just to be sure that it's nice the shape is perfect when you are just satisfied with it you can just cut the yarn okay so from my point of view the button is very very important the red is not something that I really like. These are the most beautiful from my point of view. But it's okay, now I will have one with red buttons, it's okay. I can survive. So I just want to be sure that It's well done here. And now just want to come outside somewhere like this just because I want to as I said lose the yarn just want to show you how okay and that's it our Christmas decoration is ready to take a nice place on our Christmas tree. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is my idea, another idea for the Christmas. I really love Christmas. Now I already have three of them and the coaster too. So hope you enjoyed this idea, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye!